Okay, so when you're doing the sum on product of the roots of higher order polynomials, like cubic or like for any degree n, what we do is we adopt the similar strategy that we did discuss for quadratic. So let's say here if I'm doing for cubic equation, I assume that the, let's say the roots are alpha, beta, and gamma. So that polynomial actually can be written as x minus alpha, x minus beta, and x minus gamma with the coefficient as of x cube as one here. So what I do is I equally get uh, the polynomial here. So x cube will divide the entire expression by a. So x squared plus c over a times x plus d over a. Because sometimes they, they ask you in IB exams to prove these results. So you got to know how it comes. Now, when you do this is you expand this, which is uh, obviously with x, this expansion you already know. So x squared minus alpha plus beta times x minus plus alpha beta. And now when you open this with x minus gamma, then if you simplify that, you will get this result. x cubed minus alpha plus beta plus gamma times x squared plus alpha beta beta gamma plus gamma alpha times x and minus alpha beta gamma. So this will be the result that you will get after simplification. Now this becomes one of the tools to actually prove these stuff. So now if you look at the coefficient of x squared here is b over a. So that should be equals to uh, the this part here, uh, alpha plus b, beta plus gamma. So b over a is nothing but negative sum of alpha plus beta plus gamma so that's what we get is alpha plus b beta plus gamma is minus b over a. And remember that this is this is the truth of uh, this is a, this is true for all the results. I mean for all the polynomials that some of the root is always minus b over a. Now what does minus b over a mean? That suppose it's, it's a degree five polynomial. So here if you have like uh, let's say degree five, this will be degree four. So b is nothing but the coefficient of degree four. So minus b over a. So this is how you do the sum of the roots for all. So some of the root is now going to change. It is irrespective of any degree polynomial, it's minus b over a always. Now, second part is if you look at the coefficient of x here, so that is c over a, and that is equals to this. So alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equals to c over a. And the last part is this, which is d over a, which is alpha beta gamma is minus d over a. So this is what we wanted to prove and you got to remember this as well. Now just coming back to the higher order polynomial in case if it is degree n polynomial, what we do is here the sum of the root is minus b over a, but product of the root is alpha, beta, gamma and so on is nothing but minus one to the power n, a naught over a n, that's a naught is the constant term over a n, that's the high leading coefficient. So it's like, for example, if it is cubic, this is gonna be odd, so that's why you're getting minus here. So minus uh, d over a. If it was quadratic polynomial, it will be even. So in that case, it will be a naught over a n. So this is just the basic concept. And now let's go over some problems. Now here's the first example is, let's say if you want to form a cubic equation who, whose roots are negative two, and one of the other root is the complex root, so three plus two i. And by the principle of the roots concept, if you know that the other root will be conjugate of this, which is conjugate is nothing but three minus two i, you get the conjugate by just making the sign of imaginary part opposite to what it is. So the, there are three roots, these are the three roots. And now when you wanna get a cubic equation, you can just simply use this formula, x cubed minus sum of the roots. So like here, are, what I'm doing is, I'm just doing the sum of the roots times. So this is the sum of the roots part, which is here, this is the sum of the roots. So first root is this, second root is this, and third root. So add them up, that's the coefficient of x squared. So that is that simplifies to negative four. Then product of the root two taken at a time. So alpha beta, so this times this, then this times this, and then this times this, and sum of that. That becomes the coefficient of x. And eventually the last one is the product of the root, which is negative alpha, beta, gamma. So negative alpha, beta, and gamma. And if you simplify all these expressions, you get a get a quad cubic equation like this, which is x cubed minus four x squared plus x minus 26. So this simplification, I can just show it to you quickly here. So let's say I have got negative two, um, let's say negative two times three plus two i times three minus two i. So it'll be negative two times nine um, minus two i squared. So that'll be negative two times nine plus four so nine plus four is 13, 13 times there is negative 26. So that's how you're getting the value of uh, the, cons the product as negative 26. 
So negative 26, and because this value is negative 26, so negative times negative actually become positive 26. So that's how you do the, like you form the equation when you have been given the roots. So when you simplify these parts, let's say this part is gonna be negative 26. So obviously this entire thing that you get here is two times this thing is positive 26 times negative. So that's how you get negative 26. And these terms when you simplify, that is gonna come to positive one X. And this one, if you simplify, that's negative four. And so this is how you get the, the, get the cubic equation. So now here are the question is, write down the numerical value, the sum and the product of the roots of this given equation. Now, since it's a cubic equation that we can see here, so the sum of the roots that we get is alpha plus beta plus let's say gamma is, um, here uh, minus B over A, so that's gonna be negative of B, which is minus 45 over A, which is nine. So, so that's sum of the root is five. Product of the root is alpha, beta, gamma is minus C over A. So minus C over A. So that's here C is negative 40. So it'll be negative of negative 40 over nine. So, so product of the root is 40 over nine. Now, what they're asking is for the B part, the roots of the equation are the three consecutive terms. And, and they take these roots of alpha, alpha plus beta, alpha minus beta. Um, the roots of this equation. So you have to find out the value of alpha and beta basically here. So this is um, what we do is that if you if you simply look at, now if I take one of the root as alpha plus beta, other is alpha minus beta. And third one is actually be alpha plus beta. We take like this, uh, either alpha minus beta I take, then you take alpha and alpha plus beta. So this is like proper order of the roots. And this sum is actually equals to five. So we get some, this sum equals to five. So this, you can see that minus beta get canceled and you get three alpha is five. So alpha is five over three. Once you get this, uh, second part is the product of the roots. So we can use this product of the roots. So now five over three plus beta times uh, alpha times. Uh, so alpha we, we already got, which is five over three. So five over three here as well times uh, five over three minus beta, let's say. This equals to 40 over nine. So this three and three get canceled here. So you get five uh, and eight. So you get five over three plus beta, five over three minus beta, which become 25 over nine minus beta square is eight over three. So after this you solve for beta value. So beta square is gonna be 25 over nine minus eight over three, which is nothing but 25 minus 25 over nine. So if you multiply this by three and this by three, you get one over uh, nine as beta squared. So that gives you beta as plus or minus one third. So when you find the values now, the, the roots, the possible roots that can be, so alpha minus beta, alpha and alpha plus beta. So now just let's take the values. So five over three, once I take plus one over three, so five over three minus one over three, then uh, five over three and five over three plus one over three. So that's the one set of roots. The second set of roots will be five over three plus one over three, five over three and five over three minus one over three. So that's when you, I'm taking beta as negative one third. So this is how you do this particular question on based on the sum and product of the roots.